His name's Ferenc and he is a Saker falcon. Okay, lovely. And um, obviously you're in the Anglo-Saxon and Viking period as yep. we're concentrating on today. Can you tell us about the relationship with the Anglo-Saxons and Vikings and their birds? Yes. Um, well, I'm dressed as a Viking era falconer. Um, and the Saker falcon is a bird that would have been flown by Viking falconers. We've got lots of grave finds um, of Viking falcons, actually over 20 different graves stretching from the 6th to the 10th century that show that Vikings definitely practiced falconry and one of the birds that they were found with, especially in the, the Baltic region, very widely travelled the Vikings, wow, yeah. uh, was the Saker falcon, that's why I've got him here today. Um, but yes, Saxons also practiced falconry. Um, the, the main difference being that the Saxons very much viewed the birds as a tool, so mm. they could use the birds to go hunting, but that was kind of where the relationship ended. The Vikings, very different, um, whereas we don't see Saxons being buried with their birds so much, mm. lots of Vikings being buried with their birds, um, and, and it was very much a, a, a worshipful uh, behaviour. Really? They, they were buried in a ceremonial fashion alongside their birds so that they would be intertwined, not only in life, but also in death. So. Although we don't know, there isn't as much writing about the, the type of techniques they would have used. We can, we can pick up the bond from, wow, from the burials. Wow. And in your experience, is, that in, is it important to have that bond with your, with your birds? Yes, definitely. Um, the birds are all individuals. They're all personalities, characters. Mm. Um, every bird's different. And one of the things that has become apparent from our research of the historical falconry techniques is the way in which it was very important to earn the bird's trust and to earn the bird's love and it takes a long time to do that so mm. I think once you've done that you do become very close to the birds especially me and this fellow we've been together for seven years now so yeah. um, and I know him really really well so that bond is something to, to cherish and they wanted to celebrate that even in death so yeah wonderful and he's incredibly calm around yes. me as well which is great <laughs> he's preening himself <laughs> at the moment yeah thank you very much for that wonderful information thank you okay